push rods, overhead valves, and enough V8 grunt to make your whiskers twitch in anticipation. This Aussie weapon is big, it's bold, and it's unashamedly loud. Although it's not as wild as its supercharged sibling, the Walkinshaw W407 is the most potent naturally aspirated upgrade kit the company has ever made. Applicable to any VF2 Commodore sedan, ute or wagon equipped with a 6.2 litre LS3 V8, the kit costs $9,990 and elevates power to tyre shredding levels. With more gristle than a butcher's offal bucket, the Aussie Tune V8 has enough poke to push you into your seat at full noise. And speaking of which, the sound it makes is music to the ears. But it's not just that baritone V8 rumble that's improved. Those valve springs and the lumpy cam, they really help up the power. 103 extra kilowatts now. You get a linear power delivery, something you don't always have with forced induction like turbo or, or supercharging. What that basically means is when you squeeze the throttle, the rear wheels react like that. And it's such a beautiful thing to experience. Okay, take a look at this. This is not your average Holden Commodore engine bay. Now, Walkinshaw has been tuning these Chevrolet V8s for eons, and the major power boosting upgrades include new valve springs, new camshaft, and an ECU tune to bring it all together. The engine breathes easier and makes that full-throated rumble via a new cold air intake, ceramic coated four into one long tube headers, and a stainless steel stepped exhaust system with high flow catalytic converters. Apart from the upgraded brakes, the chassis is unchanged, which means the suspension is the same as the regular SSV. And it just goes to show how good a job Holden has done. This thing tracks very cleanly through corners, it sits flat, the steering is lovely. There's a lot to like here. It's a fun car to drive. Walkinshaw reckons the upgrade improved fuel economy, but doesn't say by what percentage. Based on my testing over the last few days, well, let's just say it's pretty thirsty, but that's partly because the car provokes you to opening up the taps. It's ironic we're driving this Aussie-designed and engineered sports sedan just weeks after the all-new imported Commodore was revealed. That car will be imported from Europe. That car will be front-wheel drive. And in my view, it's two cylinders short of greatness. 